All right, this uh, Lamar speaking about the defense calling um, the plays is getting even more interesting. On uh, first thing first, Nick Wright, him and Brandon Marshall was talking. Um, Brandon Marshall pretty much said um, that it was Greg Roman was the problem. And Nick Wright finally said it that he believe it is because he has an anonymous source that hit him up that he texts that works with the Ravens. And this is what he said. And you and I got into it a bit because you were saying it's Greg Roman, it's Greg Roman. And I didn't tell you this at the time because it would have hurt my case. But at this point, I must admit, <laughs> during that argument... <laughs> I got a text <laughs> from someone who would absolutely know, connected to the Ravens, <laughs> and the text, I'm going to read it to you exactly. The offensive coordinator is running the damn wing T. They don't practice the pass game as much as they go over the running game. Greg Roman's time will come up sooner than later. It is Roman that is messing things up. That right there. Man, and it keeps, it just keeps getting worse and worse. And we're a winning team at that. But what I personally believe is everybody is starting to see that Greg Roman, his his play calling. Harbs, I already knew he wasn't a good passing um, offense coordinator. Uh, he always try to keep, always try to keep somebody. Was it Martin Wig? I think he's trying to keep Martin Wig. Cause Martin Wig was pretty decent for as the passing. But um, I think it was him. But that says a lot right there. Even Nick Wright, a Kansas City Chief fan, just really just keeping it real at this point. But we know he don't keep it real with LeBron. But that really says a lot that they concentrate in practice. They concentrate on a run game and not as much on a passing game. And it should be balanced. I really don't see Greg Roman lasting past this year. After this offseason, I think he'd be gone. I wouldn't be surprised if they say somebody is um, they're interested in somebody else this year. It's just a matter of how how much, how long will Harps deal with the with the issues? Cause we know sometimes we get the chill Harps. And sometimes we get the horrors that don't play that. So that right there is interesting. But wow, that that's like, when I heard that this morning, I was like, it is going crazy. Other teams probably will self-destruct from that information being out. And, but we're still, still winning, but it shows that Lamar could do so much if he had a better passing offense coordinator. Because we know Greg Roman, he is great at running. Passing is a work in progress. It's not as creative. So hopefully they will have somebody fix that. Somebody come in, somebody that's already there, just working behind the scenes, just halves, keep it real, G Road. I mean, your passing is lacking. Your run, that's fine and dandy, but your passing is lacking. And we already know Lamar don't have them top weapons. I keep seeing these comparisons this week with Kyler Murray and, and Lamar. I do not know why they're doing that because Lamar didn't have no D Hop his second year. Or Christian Kirk. Hall of Fame. Really, Kyler Murray has two 
Hall of Fame wide receivers, D-Hop and Larry Fitzgerald. Come on. But I ain't, I ain't going to get into that. Because I like Kyler, but the media, they tripping on that one. But I ain't going to really get into that. But that right there, what Nick Wright said about them pretty much pass, practicing on running more than the passing. Crazy. Crazy. Let's see what else pop up because we know somebody going to bring it up in a press conference. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks for the support, everybody. Everybody stay safe.